An Iron Mountain couple recently had to cancel their wedding after the bride's brother was in an accident, but the staff at the Mariucci Family Beacon House still managed to make their original wedding date a special one. Local 3's Ivy Shank tells us the story of the Beacon House bride. A wedding is a time to celebrate and be excited that everything that's going on and that just won't have happened. I would have wanted to go right back up to Marquette just in case if anything did happen. Taylor Tallarico was set to get married on September 30th in Iron Mountain, but when her brother was in a terrifying side-by-side -side accident just a week prior, her and her fiancé, CJ, made the difficult decision to postpone their wedding. It was just so hard to process and with seeing my parents, like how they were, I just, I just couldn't, I don't, I, it was so hard to see them like that and just kind of wanted to be a little bit stronger for them. So CJ and I discussed it and we both just came to agreement that we couldn't do the wedding because I, I would not want, it just wasn't a time for celebration. Taylor's brother Michael was at UP Health System in Marquette on a ventilator with severe head trauma when the nurses told her family about the Mariucci family beacon house. The staff at the beacon house set her family up with the usual place to stay and meals to eat, but they also set her up with a wedding. So we already had the marriage certificate. Honestly, CJ and I, we weren't allowed to know anything our family didn't really like it was it was a bunch of like it was a big surprise so my two maid of honors my grandma my and some other family members my aunts and uh, Mary from the Beacon House they literally were all in cahoots and <laughs> just pretty much were like okay this is a situation this is what's happening I knew nothing when walking down and CJ just stood at the end of the aisle <laughs> so we literally both knew nothing <laughs> and it was complete with all the special details. My grandmother actually made my mom's wedding dress into like a more modern, like today's type. And I was supposed to wear that for my rehearsal dinner, but I actually wore it on my wedding day at the Beacon House. So that came together perfectly. But um, our pastor, who is a family friend, he has coached CJ and I both in high school and he's pretty, he's close to our family. So he, him and his wife, was they were able to come up and marry us. Our photographer could be there. So the ICU nurses surprised us with a photographer, which was so sweet. They decorated everything. I mean, flowers were donated. Just walking downstairs in the elevator and they just hand me this big, beautiful bouquet. And like, I just see other our aisle pieces that we were going to use for our wedding. My family brought up and decorated the room with them. Um, everyone from the Beacon House decorated the room just gorgeous. I mean, it was... It was definitely, it was crazy, it was, yeah. And they even found a way to include Michael in the wedding. When Michael got into the accident, he had a pair of pants, the pants that he had on, they gave them to us, so they gave him, his, gave us his wardrobe that he was wearing, um, and they obviously had to cut the pants off of him, so my mom just kind of threw them away, like, what are we gonna do with these type of thing, and my aunt picked them up and she brought them home, and at the wedding, she actually cut out a bunch of little hearts out of his pants and had like his initials on them. So that was something that was my something blue because he was wearing blue jeans. So Taylor said her brother is recovering well and that fiance of hers is now her husband. But she's still planning to have her originally planned wedding on May 11th. He was in a very low um, stimulation room, but and once I first saw him and kind of got to catch my breath a little bit, we could whisper uh, whisper to him, and I said, you're not getting out of the wedding, so good try. To learn more about the Mariucci Family Beacon House, you can go to upbeaconhouse.org. Reporting in Iron Mountain, I'm Ivy Shank, Local 3 News.